Ayo, hey, 11 messages from who? Wait, we gotta we gotta check out these messages. XM79, yo, what the hell? Oh, Clem. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of forgot about that one. Yeah. <laughs>Hello everybody, my name is Armando. Welcome back to another Dead Front. Oh my god, bro, I keep doing this. I put money in my freaking account while going. Okay, okay. All right, take two. So, how's it going, everybody? My name is Armando. Welcome back to another X series, guys. So, wow, we've been doing a lot of these videos lately. But to be honest, it's to kind of prove to myself that I can start a series and end it. All right, because this one has been ongoing for such a long time, as well as hardcore. I think by now they kind of deleted my account for hardcore. Let's be honest. I haven't touched that free-to-play account in so long, so hopefully I can just text Clayton and he could be like, Hey man, I got you, don't worry about it, but uh, yeah, we're back to this. Uh, my cat in the background is having a little nap, as you can tell. Let me show you real quick. Daisy! See? See? Oh, 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 there she is. Look, 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 see? Look at her. Look at her. Say hey to the camera, Daisy. <laughs> So yeah, I kind of want to wrap this up a little early this time. Hopefully I can keep this nice and straightforward. But yeah, guys, like I was saying, today we have the XMP5, which is a very, I don't know, decent weapon. It's a submachine gun. Submachine guns are not known to be all powerful, you know, as powerful as the XAK-47 or as powerful as a Wraith Cannon. It's a weapon that'll keep people or things at bay, you know, long enough where you can just make an escape. But I've never tested this weapon. This time you have regular 37% damage boost. So basically, if you have a damage boost that you can buy for, what is it, 7 credits if you're a gold member, 10 if you're non. Uh, it, it should be pretty much the same thing, all right? So yeah, let's just bring up the stats. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So here we go, the XMP5. So it is, like I said, a submachine gun. You have to craft it. It costs 2 million to craft. You need the one MP5, one XMP5 blueprint. 5 X MP5 parts and 3 Devil Hearts. So yeah, that's the only part that sucks. You need the Devil Hearts to complete this craft, which is annoying. But like I said, it's the inner city, so you can just simply trap it, take your time, watch a movie, you know, and blah, 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 blah. So here we go. It uses 9mm handgun, which is uh, pretty much a little expensive right now. I think it's 13k for a pack in the second bunker, which is a little pricey. It is. It has a 30 round capacity. It has fast reload speed, so you don't really need that much reload speed to kind of immediately reload it. Duh. It has very fast attack speed, low accuracy, low critical chance, and of course you need 120 machine gun skill. It does have, you know, a bit of knockback, not the best, all right, but it does have good damage. Average damage per second, which is 150.68. Average damage per hit, or damage per hit is 22.6, and it's not bad. It's not terrible, it's not the best, but it's decent, it's up there. And hit per second is 6.67, blah, 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 all right? So as always, I'm gonna try my best and take on an aggro spike, all right? Let's see how it does, how many hits it takes to kill the average zombie, and so on and so on. So let's go. All right, the first thing is the long arm. Let's see, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven hits to kill one long armor. Yeah, like I said, they're not the best weapons out there. But if you need something fast and efficient, it will get the job done. Now, the rumblers are something I'm interested about. Because they have more health, you know, more durability. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine hits. So that was, those are non-critical hits. All right. Let's find us a tendril. One, ooh, one critical hit. Two. So two critical hits obviously will kill the tendril. That's perfect. Ooh, another critical hit. Two, three, four. All right, I need another tendril, but that doesn't have... Nah, let's kill the dog. But hopefully it doesn't hit that many critical hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven non-critical hits. So, okay, you're averaging about four kills per mag if you focus all seven shots on one zombie and I'm for the rumbler. So... Yeah, it's, it's not a bad weapon. It's not. It's just enough so you can just get by, be able to loot more or less in peace, and just get the, the goal you have in mind completed. So, yeah, let's stop talking and let's get straight to a boss fight. Hopefully, we find something that's a bit challenging, like a Wraith or a Black Titan or something of the sort. So, yeah, let's go. Three days later. Alright guys, so it's the next day, sorry if I look in a different outfit, just that's because it is, and I decided to just give it a whole day because the last time I recorded was at 10pm, it was Flaming Rumblers, and I hate showing the same damn boss fight every single time, but this time, we were welcome 
with a black titan so i mean what better way than to show off against a black titan yes it's not a devil um, yes it's not a flaming titan but hey it's some so <laughs> yeah let's just let's just go fight this big guy hopefully i don't die to a black titan <laughs> hopefully this mp5 really isn't bad i mean look at that i love the critical hits on it yeah sure they're not a sweet cream but i mean when you hit oof, so good there he is <laughs> jesus man you're like the main attraction and you're out there just hiding from me man we can't be having that there you go. So yeah, like I said, at some point, Black Titans become like regular Titans. But what's going to kill you is the aggro. Oh, I hate when I get stuck in the aggro. Such a nuisance. But yeah, 90% of this will happen in the aggro, as you can tell. Beautiful example. But don't worry, my friends. Do not worry, my friends. I, uh, I have, unfortunately... Oh, <laughs> thank God the hitbox in this game is so crap. <laughs> I was supposed to be, yo, my boy, my boy Black Titan got robbed of a, of a freaking free hit there. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, we're still in this, we're still in this. I just, yo, I think Clayton reworked the aggro, because, jeez. Yeah, your mission in the, any boss fight is to make sure that you outrun it, and once you do, you should be A-O freaking K. But, yeah, watch it. I think they did some updates to the aggro, man, because this is actually pretty challenging. So, yeah, th there we go, we're doing pretty good now. There's no trapping, we just, you know, excluded from the pack. And again, it should be okay. Your boss fight with any other boss should be pretty much simple. I mean, except the double hunts. Once they, you know, pass the limits of actual, once they beat you in terms of speed, then that's when it gets tough because, well, they beat you in speed. They can, get, and they, they can catch up to you in like half a second. But overall, if they're as fast as a Black Titan, it should be no problem. It should be no problem. That's why I still want to fight the Volatile Leaper, but dude, that thing is fast. <laughs> and the range of its attacks, insane. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna fight it anytime soon. And of course, we're doing those nice little, you know, miniature critical hits, which, like I say, they aren't as common, but they're a lot more common than the, you know, a heavy machine gun or a regular machine gun. It's just, it's good. I like that about a submachine gun. It's the critical hits are a bit more common, and you're still shooting a decent amount of fire rate. So, yeah, it's it's not terrible. It's not a terrible weapon. Is it like the other ones? I don't know. That's up to you guys to decide. Is this weapon enough for you guys to be like, okay, I don't need anything else? Or is it more like a secondary weapon that you want to take out when things get a little, you know, messy? So it's it's really up to you guys. It really is. I just gotta, just gotta lay down a little bit. Uh, upper back is kind of getting a little sore from all this. Oh god, yeah. I see you get cocky and uh, your humility doesn't really last. Where did it go? <laughs> yeah, dude. I gotta stop trolling, bro. I I'm trolling way too much. When I think I got it in the bag, this is typically what happens. I just. I get all that my phone just went off, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Let me let me let me stop trolling. Let me take this guy a little serious. <gasps> oh, why did I stop moving for a second there? Jesus, are there traps? Are these bodies now like physical objects that I can get stuck on? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that scared me. I'm like, I'm not gonna die to a black titan that's near death. <laughs> like I said, as long as you know how to move and not troll like I do, you're gonna be okay with this weapon. It's it's really not a bad weapon. It really isn't. It's actually a pretty good, decent weapon. I like it. I really do like it. It's not bad at all. It's, like I said, a really good weapon. It's just, don't troll like me. If you got the skills to pay the bills, you're going to be A-OK. -okay. It's not the weapon, it's the user that uses it. As you can tell, a guy of my caliber is playing around too much, and I nearly died. And the best part is, these are 9mm pistol rounds, so... Yeah, it'll, it'll take it down. It's, it's not a terrible weapon. So hopefully we get something good, please, please. Ooh, Master Crafted FM Mitrano. I'm not mad at that, but yeah, let's go back to the outpost and discuss 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 how we think about this weapon so yeah let's go all right so that's pretty much it for the video guys i'm sorry i look a little dusty damn how did you get to clean up my skin but yeah what do i think of the xmp5 honestly if it's a weapon that you want that'll get the job done it's a very very reasonable weapon it's not the most you know heart punching weapon out there and it's not even the softest killing weapon out there either it's a decent weapon for the let's see how much is it let's actually let's, let's before i finish that sentence let me see how much this bad boy is yeah for 4.2 mil you can't go wrong with the xmp5 it really isn't terrible it's actually a pretty good weapon if you don't have any crafting and you can just craft it yourself for free i think this thing will be around what like 2 million so exclude the crafting this is a really good weapon all right i gave it like a nice 7 out of 10 the fire speed isn't really all that you talk about the reload speed is good as well you don't need that much of reload skill to kind of do the whole 
a millisecond reload and obviously the low critical chance isn't that bad if you have high decent critical chance you're going to be hitting critical hits every other day but overall yeah it's it's not a bad weapon and i use a nine millimeter uh pistol bullets which are expensive last i bought them they're going for 13 14k so they do kind of do eat up a bit of the bank account they will do that but like i said it's not bad especially if, um, especially if you have a build that you know relies on you know the main thing which is a pistol or rifle so you're not going to be taking this bad boy as much if you know for the defensive battles all right for, or for anything Curry James, hey, I just want to say so sorry for how long I took to make a video on this, man. You've been waiting 10 days for your XMP5, but I, I really appreciate you having the confidence in waiting that long for me. Like I said, guys, I will never ever do anything to scam you. I always give them the baggage. Sometimes life gets a little busy and I take time to make videos, but yeah, just know your weapon will be coming back to you. And if you need it on a specific day, I'll give it back. So hey guys, want to hang out? I'll see you guys the next time. Take it easy. Bye.